What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have yet another follow-up video from Dr. Pew Pew's account. So this one was pretty amazing. He re-rolled the crit stone on his Garuda, and we just blew up for Sealand, literally in the first few minutes of this video. Then we jump into Dark Sealand with one of the least optimal setups you'll ever see. We had three baby carries, two baby Raz, and an E5 Drake with void three plus imprints. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We'll probably be revisiting this account again because V3 on a lot of heroes is extremely strong for seal land. And I'll see you guys next time. So what we need to do is on Dr. Pew Pew here. We are going to be finishing something, hopefully. I think we were working on Forest Sea Land with our Gerudo. We have V3 Plus. Probably have a little bit of extra. Oh, no, we don't have a little bit extra. <laughs> I was like, we probably have just a little bit extra. Um, But yeah, we have pretty minimal next to nothing heroes. Uh, We're going to see what we can do, though. We're definitely going to see. We have the right setup, the crit, crit attack with the Radiant Antlers. I like that. Um, I don't think we had, or the other artifacts real quick. We had A and B. Had a regular Punisher, but I don't like that. Kiss a Ghost, Energy. I think, are all the heroes still set up as well? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're all set up as well. Perfect. So, let's give it 10 more attempts. We were pretty close last time. We are pretty close. Um, but we kind of just ran out of resources here. Let's jump back in. Let's take a look at the first battle. See how it went to get uh get a footing to see how we were doing here. If we were close, if we need to change anything. All right. We got the Garuda knocking three targets out. Nice and easy. We got the stun from the dragon perfectly. Yep, yeah, right there. GG. Pretty easy for 18 not bad or sorry that was 19 actually so 20 let's jump into it as well see if it's gonna be a nice easy battle as well like i said guys energy artifacts makes everything easier <laughs> like everything easier oh we hit the boss i think we need to not hit the boss we need to get the double stun i do love dragon in this mode ah oh, so much better than phoenix um hey what's up june you want to see you want to see how easy this can be <laughs> um so yeah we got to make sure we kill three of the small ones and not hit the main target the main boss that's oh we just need to do a little more damage and that would have been perfect it's gonna be too many hits now we need to get the stun the stun is kind of important on top of everything else so we need to kill three targets get a stun kill them off with the active after the next round you did it with the Phoenix in three tries. We can just try it with the Phoenix as well. Ugh, we can't hit the boss. The boss is what we need to avoid. We need to just be able to high roll one stun and just be done with it. All right, we got one Bloodthirst. We got one. Not too bad. Again, we can't hit the boss. You always want to leave the boss to last, it seems like, in uh, Forest Sealand. I was hotting or hitting boss round two and I would one shot him. Nice. Mainly the other reason why we are using the uh, the dragon is for the extra crit chance as well. If we do high roll the stun, it just kind of guarantees that we get an active off and then super easy sea land 20 done in four. So that is like the super blitzed version of how to do it and not suck. <laughs> crit the crit stone i think is one of the most important parts honestly it just takes a lot of rng out of the equation um but on to the main thing this was kind of the follow-up we are going to regress all these right here get all those stellars back because what we are going to try next and let's just honestly take everything off of these heroes here all that gear especially those magic sauces right there um and we're gonna go over to the dark faction we're gonna see what we can do so we have not of not, of course not the best we have one two almond raws 
We have any other almond raws in the bag. Doesn't look like it. You had said we should use a crit stone, so I rolled for it. Exactly. Like, that was the biggest difference, honestly, Dr. Pew Pew. That was, like, the game changer right there. So, yeah, we don't really have any other heroes right now. So, we're going to try to just make do and see what a V3 Drake can do. That should be pretty interesting. So, we're probably going to run Drake, Amon Ra, Amon Ra, and three carries, I think, is the game plan. So, let's get them all leveled up to 100. And then we will void and print the Drake. The question is, what do you guys think in chat? Um, do you think <laughs> Teddy with another tier three sub eighth month? W U H O O Barry T V G G Barry T V Barry doing Barry T V Barry things Barry T V sub Barry T V whale alert <laughs> Barry T V one more. You know, I really wish we could have got the prefix just Barry. Because the Barry TV just throws off the TTS so much. It just sounds so weird. But thank you so much, Teddy. As always, man, you are awesome. So you are definitely getting energy. So that's, that's, that's definitely happening. Let's make sure the Drake gets set up how we want. Um, do we have any assassin gear on anybody? I don't think so, but I'm just going to check to double check, essentially. Um, give me all that gear, too. Yeah, no assassin said. Okay. Do I have a heart in the bag? You mean a sphere? Are you talking about like a sphere? A transcendent sphere? It doesn't look like it. Um, 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 um Okay. Back to dark. Okay, we got you level up, you level up. We're not going to use that aspen at all. We're just going to say forget the aspen. We're going to use some carries and we're going to hope to get some energy drains off gonna get them i guess we'll just take them all to level 100 this is gonna be a really stretch though like only two amon Ra's. drake if i mean you, let's be honest guys drake could dodge like a champion but should we use a regular punisher staff on him or should we use the upgraded antlers i'm thinking we just run the antlers I think that's going to be our best bet, honestly. Because the Antlers is going to pay off. If he can dodge and last a couple rounds, his damage is really going to ramp up. Um, and I don't I don't think I've ever imprinted a Drake. I know of E5 Drake nowadays can actually do a C-Land 20 with the, the normal support team. Um, but I feel like... We had like a Punisher, like an upgraded Punisher. I feel I think that would be like amazing. But yeah, we need we need Ninja Drake in the house. That's what we need. Do you need a one star antlers or one star Punisher unlocked to do C lane twenty? If you're using just lock, yeah, you do. Uh, I think we're just gonna use energy everywhere. Everywhere, big boy Dane with the sub with the prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, let's. Actually, yeah, we have enough energy for everybody, I believe. At least we did before, I think. At least we did before. But yeah, Sherlock can do it with just a glittery Punisher staff. Of course, if you have a higher one, it just makes it that much easier. He needs to get some CC off so that he's not getting hit by every target. So he needs like one or two enemies doved and then swaps all day and crits with his attacks. It just it starts hammering through. But you build him full out attack. All right, almost done with this last carry. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Ooh, we're at 200 viewers as well. You know what? Just for the people who uh, it always bugs, we'll make sure everybody's got them unlocked. Too much carries, I mean, it's our only option unless you want to use Dark Spirits, but at least these can come back and be targets. Uh, we got energy there. We don't have energy there. We need energy there. Honestly, just give her the full gear. doesn't really matter. And then, of course, the Drake. HP HP is not gonna cut it. Um, I'm going to convert this stone, or unless you want me to unlock it, let me know. Do you want me to unlock and reroll? Do you want that HP stone, or can I just go ahead and reroll it while we get imprinted? You let me know, Doctor Pew Pew. It's the first time I think I've ever put imprints into a Drake. Feels weird. Could be pretty strong though. Could be pretty strong. 
need a 10 star raw probably but we're gonna just give it a go and see how this works out you never know drake just might pop off that's kind of the whole point <laughs> just re-roll the stone sounds good sounds good teddy with the gifted sub now too but brother got it welcome welcome to the wolf pack all right let's go to the next one how to get more dust i can't remember the trick gdp told us i'm gonna be making a video on that nino um it actually is gonna come out tomorrow i think so look for that i'll show you the i'm gonna actually like in game i should be able to do it on my own account tomorrow so that i can show it to everybody so all right we got that there that there because there's a trick to get some extra resources out of your artifacts do that and then let's go with the attack node first again i feel like attack is just like the best thing to go for with every single one of these heroes and then we will of course skip the speed because that doesn't matter we'll try to put as much into hp as possible and we're so close to getting v4 like so so close so close get so far Can we grab anything out of here real quick do you have any goodies oh we got a little a couple goodies there we don't have vortex open I don't think that was enough though. Teddy with another one to Lone Wolf. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Let's, uh, I don't think that was enough to even put another point in, was it? Nope. Let's re-roll that stone. Let's get that guy re-rolled. We're recovering. We're, we're back. Well, we're losing subs still, but we're, we're, we're holding at strong over 600 subs. So thank you guys so much if you guys decided to sub. Um, so what do we go for? Holy attack attack? Only like 1.4 million sellers. Yeah, pretty much. Skill damage attack attack. Is that better than attack attack? I'm thinking we want like a crit stone though. I think crit is going to be the best one. Crit HP is not good enough. Block attack's not good enough. I really... If we get like a holy attack attack, I'll try it. Armor break's kind of irrelevant for him. There we go. We got the crit, so we're going to go with the crit. Sadly, we don't have like a weapon or an accessory to go for for assassin gear. <sighs> I think crit crit's gonna be the way to go. Let's make sure we are going full offensive here as well. Won't be good like armor break for more damage. Well, I mean, technically his basic is gonna be the one that's really hitting hard because his basic is right here. That does the big damage versus his active is gonna be. So his active does four hundred. But so does his basic. Um, and, his, and essentially, if he's doing his basic, he's hitting the target that has no, no damage reduction, anything like that. So I think we're going to be good. Let's give this a shot. Honestly, I think we might need at least one more baby raw. That's my guess. Although, hold on. Do we need purify on him? We don't need purify in dark, right? There's no... There's no beat debuff in dark, I don't believe. Can we run this? I think we can. Um, Do you want to buy an assassin set? Oh, nah. I mean, he's your only assassin right now. I mean, maybe if you're building the light hero next week, it's worth it. But if you're not building the light hero, then no. Um, There's a stun. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. The stun, that's what it was. I was like, I feel like there's something, but it's not a debuff. We'll try a couple. We'll try a couple and then maybe we'll get an assassin set. But it really just depends on if you're actually going to go for uh, the dark hero or not. I'm thinking we actually just put him in the front slot here and put the Amon Ra's in the back. Probably even want to run the dragon for stun. I'm thinking we do the dragon for stun. Oh, wait, I don't have 4,000 gems. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. We probably didn't have enough. Let's just give it a try. Let's see how this looks. I'd say dragon's better for the crit chance. Plus just the chance to get some CC. Yeah, those dodges are huge. Wow. And like I said, we're pretty much for, I think, Drake to do anything here. His damage is not great, but he's going to have to dodge like a champion. Wait, does his dodge chance get higher with his imprints? We don't have any Amon Ra shields, so this feels a little bad. The unbending is going to wear off quick, but we're dodging. We're do dodge, dodge, Ninja, Ninja Aspen. Not Ninja Aspen. Ninja Drake in the house. I mean, these are easy enough. We should be able to do these, but I think once we get past like 15, 
we would have to like super, super high roll, but I don't know. It goes up to 70%. That's why he has a 70% dodge chance. Yeah, I think the dragon was a good pick here. That or maybe even the deer to give him a type of heal. What do you think's better, the deer or the dragon? Hey, James. Hey, Barry. Please check my DM on Discord, lol. I'll try to do that after we are done on Dr. Pew Pew's account. I think Deer might be better just to give him a little bit more sustain. I don't know. You can try it just so that he heals back up. And like, yeah, like you said, damage isn't really the problem here. But the dragon does, it's like a pseudo effect where it actually keeps him... It keeps him from getting hit, which is better for unbending layers. Um, luckily, the carries are doing their job. And as you see, the Amon Ra's are living if the dragon doesn't get an active off. If the dragon gets an active off, we're kind of screwed. Uh, I kind of like Deer. It's definitely making our heroes tankier as well. Wow. That was a little surprising, actually. And like you said, yeah, I don't think damage with a... A V3 plus Drake is going to be a problem at all. I think the deer's better. It gives us more armor. It gives us more HP. Uh, can we get a drain on the dragon, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was huge. Of course, we don't heal the one target that doesn't have any health. <laughs> Granted, their carries, they come back to be, oh, wow. We're not, is, are we not critting? Is that the problem on this one? It's crazy that we don't even have a target killed yet. James, with that gift to sub, thank you so much, man. Uh, or is it just that it's getting to be a higher difficulty, which could be the, the issue. Although I think we're not, I think we're not critting is the big problem here. We're dodging like a pro. These dodges are huge. All right, we really, really need a heal. That heal is actually really big. With the amount of dodging we're doing, oh my God. <laughs> He's dodging everything. Oh, he finally got hit. Oh, man. All right. We'll try not to waste too many gems here, but I do want to see how far we can take this. This is pretty crazy. Barry, please notice me. Is There's a new game called Dynasty Heroes. You'll love it. I, I saw it. I, I, I don't love it. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. But yeah, 70% dodge is pretty busted, right? V3? You got to be V3 for the dodge, right? I think it's on V3 because V2 is the basic. I mean, 70% dodge is kind of crazy. Try Aspen instead of one carry. <sighs> we could. The problem is I really like having this many carries to have a higher chance to not let the dragon actually get an active off. Because if the dragon doesn't get an active off, that means our Amon Ra's actually stay alive. You can buy like 15 attempts. Nice. Ninja Drake, this is literally literally ninja drake forget ninja aspen ninja drake in the house look at him he just slips through he's like nah nah, nah mm, nope 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 you can't hit me you can't hit me you can't touch this um mc hammer let's go see i mean look at this these it's kind of weird that <laughs> is this the new budget build right here i mean i know you can do it with like no 10 stars and under but for those who don't have dark done yet, which there's probably not many. I mean, let's be honest. Most people probably have like E5 carries and stuff. So they can get it done. But, um, I mean, if you got Stellar and you got a Drake for your PVE, <laughs> five stars work. This is, uh, this is kind of crazy. On a later stage, we can try it later on. But I, I feel like this is going to work, honestly. With this many carries, the chances of the dragon getting an, an active off is extremely low. And because the we only need two Amon Ra's, because of the amount of times Drake dodges, this is actually pretty crazy. He is dodging so much damage that's incoming. This is just crazy that we still have heroes alive. It is crazy that every hero is alive. With two Amon Ra's. Okay, there they finally went down. Now's the clutch time. Now we gotta, now we really gotta dodge, and we gotta get some energy drains. Perfect. We proc'd. We're gonna get a kill here. 
Teddy with the 500 bits. Uh oh, it's a long one. Not too long. You ever tried Girls X Battle 2? It's Anime Idol Heroes D with Ida Meta and some nice tweaks. <laughs> no, I thank you, Teddy, but I cannot play any of the waifu girl. Like, I can't. I can't play them. That's why I play games like Idol Heroes, Ode to Heroes, because it's like, it's just, it's not in your face. It's just very. I like the art styles. I'm not a fan of waifu games, honestly. That's probably the biggest thing. Do you think I could beat Dark with V2 Carry, Radiant A and B, 10 Star Raw? Maybe? Oh god, Teddy, five more subs. You're distracting me, Teddy. We're losing. Five gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. Um so here's a question. Do you, do you think we can get away without using uh Purify? Because that's like the first time I've actually seen him dodge or uh, actually stunt. Oh, okay. And I say that and then he immediately gets stunned. So, no, we're not going to even entertain that possibility. Um, So, the damage, we're not able to like one tap them as much anymore. So, this is getting a little bit more difficult now. I'll be honest. Those carry death passes are doing quite a bit of damage. I wonder if I should, uh, I wonder if I should run them with offensive artifacts instead of energy. That could work. All right, so I got 10 more attempts to see what we can do. 10 more. We're on 18. I'm on 18. Mildly retired with the prime. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Can we do this? We got some petrifies, which is good. Oh, uh, the Amon-Ra is already down. That kind of sounds bad. We, I think he's kind of running out of the damage at this point. Okay, we're dodging. The damage is starting to lack here. It's definitely starting to get lacking. We're not like one tapping them anymore, which is a big, big issue. Very, very big issue. By the way, Barry, I suck so hard at free to play on VIP 5 already. Ah, <laughs> oh, Teddy, what are you doing, man? No, the dragon's starting to get actives off, and that's not good for us. Oh, thank you. The carry desk killed them. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. All right. All right. It's not horrible right now, but we're going to have to dodge a ton. Like, to have any chance here, we need to dodge so many attacks. Kill him off. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No. He's going to get an attack. Ah. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we got two, two, three. Uh, hold on. I don't think dropping unbending is worth it it is something to consider though it definitely is something to consider because they'll deal more damage if he doesn't crit i mean aspen is definitely still the champion here but i mean he's he's not taking giant chunks of damage so the extra healing might be good. Granted, he hasn't even taken one one at all. Pyro with the two months with the prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, welcome back. I mean, he's dodging everything, but like right here, he's gonna heal back up to full. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. No, that's that's really sketchy. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, maybe? No. Uh, that's a no, sir. Sorry. That's not going to be happening uh, anytime soon. Let's keep going. I do think the dragon might start being better. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Denny. I'm thinking the dragon might start being better because it's not about the healing. It's just taking about too many hits at this point. This one's going decent. Still no dragon active, which is really good. Still no dragon active, really good. Ooh, okay, we got one turn. We gotta, we gotta hit this dragon. Come on, carry. Snipe. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. When you don't hit the dra- Oh, we hit the wrong targets. Come on, Drake. <laughs> Come on, man. You can do this. That heal was decent there. Um, we didn't hit the dragon. That's not good. Come on, please snipe the dragon carry. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is going to be really close. It's going to come down to the wire here. I think we do need the damage from the dragon, honestly. Yeah, there's no way he kills in two rounds here. It was close. 
It was close. I think we need to try to keep the Raz active to put the healing curses on the back row there on the boss. That deal a little bit of extra damage. Barry, is a 10-star Sigma or a 6-star Deathsworn better in PvE? Usually the 6-star Deathsworn, just because it's much, much easier uh, to keep the burn on the target, it's sometimes very difficult to keep a Sigma alive. Yeah, that started out so good. Again, I think a lot of this just comes down to carry. Again, like always, not draining energy. Like right there, we hit the dragon like all three times, but none of them actually drained energy. And I think we really need to keep the Amon Ra alive at least to like round six or seven to get like a second round of actives off. Also, five targets instead of six is good with dragon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like in this scenario, it's guaranteed to hit everybody. I got a lot of dodges off. We're gonna have to dodge again though. Woo! Woo -hoo! That's a lot of dodges from the Drake. And we hit the two front lines. That's really good because now that means we can guarantee the energy. No! No! I was like, then we can guarantee the energy drain on that dragon every single round. Ugh. Come on, keep the Raz alive for once. Carrie, do your job. <laughs> Come on, Carrie. Hype train success. We got hype train too. Thank you guys for all the subs and those biddies. Um, is this possible? Yeah, is it probable? I don't. Oh, we didn't even crit. That was really bad. Because the heal too. Oh, this is going to be way too many hits, I think. Hit both. Hit both in the front. Both in the front. No. Yeah, too many hits. We got to kill the targets just a little faster and then we can actually do it. We got okay. We got energy drain. That's really really good for us. Energy drain was good. Yes, we hit the dragon again, and the priests or mages or whatever they are don't have energy either. <gasps> we got more Amon Ra shields and we lost them. But hey, we got Amon Ra shields on the Drake, which is really good. We got a stun as well, and we're gonna start working on the low target health one. Okay, all right. This is not bad. They both hit the dragon as well. Ooh. As long if we can dodge a couple times, I think we have the damage for this. I'm pretty sure we do. Maybe. Oh, that was a big active right there. We just got a crit. The difference between the damage when Drake crits and doesn't crit is just humongous. All right. 18 done. Let's see if we can get 19 done. Same exact way should work good. Getting those energy drains on the back line are really huge too because that way they don't target the back line whatsoever. And that's going to be really clutch on getting our Amon Ra's to second rounds of actives. Uh, so we got another one there. We did lose that, but we did get an energy drain maybe right here. Hit, hit the dragon, please. Ah, oh, not my dragon. Teddy with another gifted sub. Ah, oh, Teddy, you're the highlight of this video, huh? <laughs> All right, not too bad. Let's get energy drain on the dragon, please. Please, no. <laughs> oh, carry when you... Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuns. That's actually... I mean, I think the dragon definitely is better at this point. Oh, come on. Why couldn't you hit the priest? We're dodging really good, though. Ooh, that's not a good one. That's a, oh, they're healing back up. This the health pool is going in the wrong direction, man. It's going in the wrong direction. We got okay, good. We finally hit the low target with the active. That's the one thing with Drake is his active will not guarantee hit the lowest target. <sighs> All right, eleven rounds doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, we died anyway. So I'm gonna buy two more just to see what we can do, and then we'll call it for now. But I think it can be done. With the right RNG lined up, I definitely think if you only have a Drake and you and you don't plan on building like a 10 star or an E5 Amon Ra, it can definitely work with just a Drake. I'm really interested to see how Aspen would do now, but Drake's dodge is the MVP here. Like the amount of times Drake is dodging is just crazy. He's not getting much support from those carries though. The carries are whiffing hardcore. I think we just die. He's not critting, which is the worst part here. Yeah. 
yeah he's just not critting is the other issue so last one let's try one more attempt can you help me setting my scaries right and sea land with scaries yeah we can do that i don't know if we'll get time to do it today teddy but you can message me on discord in the members chat and i'll hit i'll get you some info uh we already got one target down and we have a raw uh, we did have a raw alive okay <laughs> not quite i don't yeah okay one more just one more and then we call it unless we win and then maybe one more maybe one more nah nah we'll be good with this please carries hit the dragon hit the dr why do you never hit the dragon anymore there's three of you do your job carrie do your job all right come on big active that hits this one. Oh, actually no don't hit that one they'll die at the end of the round or not because you got big old heal that's not good <sighs> well all right 18 done so that's not bad but you can definitely see with the right rng setup he can do it is it kind of a very heavy investment in uh void imprints i would say absolutely but hey honestly let's try it again maybe in a few days i think drake i mean if you don't plan on building anything but drake in the dark faction if you're just not a fan he will serve you very well in getting sea lane 20 done is aspen better at six star probably <laughs> probably with the correct lineup of carries and amon raws but when you only have two amon raws this is an option Honestly, I feel like I'd want one more Amon-Ra over a third carry, but hey, is what it is, so not too bad. <laughs>